Meanwhile, the House of Representatives has unanimously passed a resolution seeking amendments of the National Honours Act of 1964 to ensure what it calls parity in conferments of the National Honour of Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, GCON, on the Senate President's and Speaker House of Representatives. This follows the adoption of a motion of urgent public importance by Deputy House Spokesman Philippe Agbissi on behalf of the 360 members. The lawmakers describe the conferment of national honours of Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger and Commander of the Federal Republic on the Speaker as a discriminatory subordination, which should be corrected. To appropriately recognize the Speaker of the House of Representatives as co-head of the National Assembly and accordingly confer the national honor of GSON upon the Speaker, ensuring parity in recognition with the President of the Senate. This should be accomplished before the formal declaration by Mr. President. The Speaker is the fourth in protocol. The CGN comes after. Today, the CGN is given the award, the honor of GCON. I think there is some, some mismatch, some mix-up. It is not something that has happened only on this administration, but it's an institutional uh, error that has festered for too long. The issues here, they have to do with history, with tradition, with correcting past injustices and miscarriage of re recognition and constitutional order. The Constitution uh, did not mention that a chamber is higher than any other chamber. I think it's about our own institution, uh, like it's been mentioned. We must rise to the occasion. It's not executive. There is a committee responsible for that, and that committee is headed by a very senior and honorable person, and I believe he will listen to it, and that is Justice, Honorable Justice Tilly Baggy. The House referred the resolution to an ad hoc committee to be chaired by Majority Leader Julius Ihonvir for legislative compliance.